What's up, family? So Micah Slager, the white South Carolina police officer who shot black motorist Walter Scott in the back as he ran away from him, has pleaded guilty. If y'all remember back in December, he uh, ended up with a hung jury. So now he's pleading guilty. He's pled guilty and he's going to be sentenced uh, in a few days. Now, his sentence can go up to life in prison. That's going to be very interesting to see how that turns out. Now, one of the things that really, really threw me off about this whole case is his mom's response. His mama, Walter Scott's mom said, she forgives the officer who murdered her son. Let me tell y'all something. I don't give a damn what his ethnicity is. I don't give a damn if he's white, black, green. I don't give a damn if he's a cop or a thug or a doctor or a bus driver. You take my kid out, I be goddamn if I'm a Fucking forgive your silly ass. I wish I would. I wish I would fix my lips, even my mind, to think about forgiving somebody who do something that tragic to my child. Is you fucking silly? You crazy? Man, hey, look. I'm going to tell you like this, man. Hey, man. Condolences to the family and all that stuff. And, and I know mama hurting over there, but damn. All this forgiveness shit is what got us in this situation we in in the first place. Man, I'm an American. Americans don't forgive. We pay back. We don't do all that. 911, remember that? Man, wasn't nobody over there talking about forgive. They was talking about let's go over there and bomb some motherfuckers. Let's get them back. Let's get some payback in here. Man, we're going to bomb somebody even if we bomb the wrong person. We're going to get some, somebody going to pay for this shit. That's how America do it. Oh, but when it come to us, we want to be apologetic. Get all friendly and nice and super. Man, miss me with all of that. You can miss me with that. I'm not finna apologize. I'm not finna ask for no kind of forgiveness for somebody who uh, does something that tragic to my, my child. I'm not finna offer no forgiveness. And I'm not gonna apologize for feeling bitter. You damn right I'm bitter. You damn right I'm angry. You damn right I'm mad. And I want some retribution. I want some payback. That thug ass so-called cop. Man. Death ain't even good enough for him for what he did. And his lawyer tried to paint the picture that he feared for his life. How in the hell you fear for your life when somebody, anybody, cop or not, if somebody is running away from you, booking in slow motion, this dude was running in slow motion too. If the cop wanted to, he could have chased after them and caught him real easy. Probably could have caught him in five seconds. The dude couldn't run with a damn. Dude running in slow motion, all flu footed. You know, all slew footed. He like, Shot the man, pulled the gun out, took aim, relaxed, pop, 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 pop. Just shot the man five times in the back. Just like that, he out of here. And that's supposed to be good enough to say that you feared for your life? Now, what he didn't fear is being caught. But oh, God got a way, a funny way of payback. He got, a, he got a funny way of making somebody stand up, get right. Man, he wasn't expecting that video to surface of the actual shooting. You see, there was a guy hanging out in the wings who caught the whole thing on camera. He filmed it. 
And so that lie he was trying to tell just couldn't pan out the way he wanted it to pan out. Just couldn't get away with the, oh, I feared for my life. Because that's their thing. That's the cop's thing. They love to say, I feel for my life. They, hey, man, just say you feel for your life and you're out of here. You know, you're good. Because who can dispute that you feel for your life? That's 1,000% subjective. Like, nobody's inside of my brain, so they can't tell. And nobody's inside of my head. Nobody can say that I feel for my life or not. You can't dispute that. You know, that's 1,000% defendable. Man, I feel for my life. You, you ain't inside of my head. You don't know what I was thinking. So that's how they get off all the time. They just say, I feel for my life. Just throw it out there. Don't matter. Just throw it out there. I don't care what happened. This is a classic case of who you gonna believe? Me or your lying eyes? That's the way they're getting down out here, y'all. What we have here is another lying ass cop who tried to cover up his crime where he killed an innocent person and he tried to cover up the crime. Took somebody's life for nothing. And he tried to cover it up. And cops wonder why people don't trust them. They wonder why. I'm glad as hell that there was a video showing that Walter Scott was running away and not running toward him. Because that would have been case closed. I'm glad as hell that video surface surface. And whoever that dude was, man, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Personally, thank you. Whoever filmed it. Because, you know, if cops acted more civilized, we wouldn't even need video. We wouldn't need it. Because they'd be believable. But these motherfuckers ain't believable at all. They have lost all their credibility. They have no credibility whatsoever. So anytime a cop get caught up in any kind of scandal, anything, if they get accused of anything, you better believe, you better do some investigating. You And, I, and I'm going to be first to take the other person. I don't give a damn who it is. I'm taking the other side first because the cops, even if I don't know the other person, because the cops have a culture of the way they act. So... They have a propensity to lie. They have a, it's a culture. So I'm going to automatically believe the other side before I believe that side. Automatically. And this is not just ba this is not based on just hating police, wake up hating police and all that. This is based on how they act. And the so-called good cops ain't making it no better because what do they do? They see the bad ones. They know who the bad ones are. They know who the animals are. They know who the corrupt ones are. And they think that they are somehow worthy of being decent because they don't actually participate. No, it's an old thing called silence is consent. So if you see somebody being disrespected, you see somebody having their rights violated, you see somebody pushing somebody around and you don't say anything, you're complicit, which means that you're just as guilty as the person that's doing it. So you ain't no better than the, than the corrupt cop that's actually taking out the actions against people or doing dirty things and shit, taking payoffs and selling dope and jacking people and killing people, violating people on a daily basis, disrespecting people. You're just as bad. He accepted that life sentence, that possibility of a life sentence in exchange for all uh, charges being dropped, you know, in both jurisdic jurisdictions coming up because he felt like, well, you know what? Let me get rid of all this other stuff right here. Now, now I can just focus on dealing with this one case. And because so, something tells me that somehow, some way, they're going to try to figure out a way to come back and get this guy off the hook. Now, normally, when you plead guilty to a, to a criminal offense, that's it. You can never come back and appeal. But, man, I don't trust him. They always figure out something. They always got some kind of slick ass thing going on. I do not trust them. 
I don't trust him. Cop shot the man in the back. The man posed no threat. He could have easily let that dude run. He had his car. He had the vehicle. He had the license plate. He could have easily let that guy go on about his business and caught up with him later and apprehended him. If I was a cop, that's what I would have done. I ain't gonna run after your ass. I already got, to me, I, I'm gonna be smart. In my mind, I'm smart. I'm like, <laughs> look at this fool running. <laughs> I already know who he is. Got his damn car right here. I'll just give it, give it a few hours. I'm gonna right over, right, right over this house. Just let him let his ass run. I know exactly where he's going. I just let him go and run, run to his house. If he try to hide out somewhere, you let him hide out. But I know where he is, so I'm gonna catch up with him. So, but no, that's too much like right. They too arrogant. He murdered a man, and now he's facing life in prison. Murdered a man in cold blood. I say life in prison is too good for his ass. He needs to die. He's a fucking animal, and he needs to be put down. Yeah, so... Let's give his ass some needle, you know? See, I, don't, I just don't trust the man. I feel like in a good 12 months or so, they're going to figure out some kind of way to come up with some type of technicality or whatever and try to get him off the hook. North, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina too, they're notorious for being racist. They're notorious racists out there. They just started taking down those... Uh, Confederate monuments and stuff out there. These motherfuckers are notorious racist. The whole police departments, all of them corrupt. They, they don't have a good police department in South Carolina. All of their police departments are corrupt. They are all racist. That's why he thought he could get away with it. But that prosecutor had another thought for his ass. That prosecutor had another thing coming for his ass. So yeah, Racism runs deep in South Carolina. It runs real deep in South Carolina. I feel like life in prison is too much for this dude. It's too good for him. Let's go ahead on and kill his ass. Save the taxpayers the money. Save, save the other inmates the burden of doing something dirty to his ass. So they don't even end up getting more time. Put that needle in his ass. Hit his ass with that needle. Hit his ass. That's what I say. Put his ass on old Sparky. Light his ass up. Brain bag hanging. That'll be good. That'll be nice. The way that motherfucker act, I'm sure he probably lynched a couple of black people before. Give him a taste of his own medicine. He'd be very familiar with that, I'm sure. Or bring back the firing squad. Yeah, let's get his ass smooth on up out of there. That's the way I see it. Yo, if you appreciate the videos that I'm bringing to you, you find value in them, join the movement. Go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Willie D Live. Join the movement. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order of protection.